Hi, it's me, Fiona Weather, and welcome to Sunday School at Home for Nass Square Presbyterian. I'm so glad that you joined me today for a fun activity. So before we start, um, you should go watch the Holy Moly video on Nassagoya's Presbyterian's YouTube channel and link to the story in the description below. Today's story is about Joseph II. So um, I know there wasn't any words in the story. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of recap what it was about. So Joseph, if you remember, and if you've watched some of the previous lesson, he was sold as a slave to Pontifer, the captain of Pharaoh's guard. And then Pontifer's wife accused Joseph of a crime. So he was thrown in prison. But God was always with Joseph because Joseph proved his ability to interpret dreams and gained his freedom. So in this little video that you just saw, um, Pharaoh, he was the guy with the hat. He was um, the ruler of Egypt. And Pharaoh means, you know what the, it means? It means king. And he had a dream and he was very distressed by his dream. So I don't know if you remember when you were watching the video, there was a little circle and he was watching some dreams and he saw some nice big fat cows. I don't know if you remember that. And then he saw some really skinny cows eat up the big fat cows and he didn't know what that meant. And also he saw some corn stalks, big fat corn stalks, and then they all withered and died. And he didn't know what that meant. So he caused, called the wise men and magicians. So I don't know if you remember the two little men that came along and he asked them to interpret the dream. So they wanted to please the Pharaoh. So the one guy just said, oh, just think of something else. But that didn't help. He still had the same bad dream. And then another of the magicians came and said, well, think of yourself, but that didn't help. He still had the same bad dream. So then along came the cup bearer. So I don't know if you remember the guy with the cup, but he was actually a prison mate of Joseph's. And he remembered Joseph and told the Pharaoh that Joseph could interpret the dream correctly. So, then um, the Pharaoh went and found Joseph. And I don't know if you remember seeing Joseph, but Joseph explained the dream. And the dream was there was going to be seven years of good harvest and seven years of famine. And the Egyptians were to save up for the famine um, to make sure that people didn't starve. And so Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph actually interpreted the dream correctly. He promoted um, Joseph and gave him his ring. I don't know if you remember seeing him getting the ring and gave him fine clothes and told him that he could oversee making sure that people would have something to eat during the famine. Okay, so for today's activity, Remember, we were talking, we did the story, we watched the video about Joseph. We're going to do something to do with the story. And so what we're going to do, find your leaflet, if you have it, find some markers. You might have to pause to go get the markers and find some scissors. And you can get some glue. I don't have glue, so I'm using tape. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, open up this craft leaflet, and you'll see that there's four hoops. So now what we're going to do is take your scissors, and see the scissor marks and you can cut with the scissors i've cut 
Now I've got two hoops and I'm going to cut again. So I'm going to make four hoops. Okay, so there's one, two, I'm going to cut again. So now we've got the four hoops. What we're going to do, um, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, what animals were in the dream? So if you remember, they were the cows. And this is a cow's hoop. And do you, can you guys think what a sick cow would sound like? Do you know what a well cow sounds like? Or what a sick cow sounds like? So um, what did Pharaoh's magicians say about the cows? They just dismissed it. And what did Joseph say about the cows? He said, to pay attention to the dream. That was important. So what we're going to do is we're going to color each of the hoops. Now I don't have many colors. You might have lots of colors. I only have pink and yellow. But you could use any colors that you want. Maybe you like purple. Maybe you like blue. Or maybe you just want to be it brown, like a cow too for black. And you could, if you had stickers, if you want, you could put stickers on. That would be fun too. Um, or you could do a pattern. I'm just going to color it pink. I'm going to color the bottom part here. That's like the toenail. I'm going to color it yellow. I'm going to use a different yellow for the top. But you don't have to use yellow. You can make stripes if you want. Whatever you want. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a little, like a bracelet, so that you can have food on your arm. So there's me coloring. I'm doing one. Maybe I'll do a matching one. So now you're done, what you can do is you can just put those on your arm. You might need your mom or dad to help you. And that's like a hoof. And then you just get an elastic band. And if you have to stop the video to go get an elastic band, you can stop it. And just put it around your arm. There we go. I'm going to do the other arm. Probably easier to get somebody to help you. There we go. So now, bracelets. You can walk around, 
like you're a cow in the dream. And maybe move like a big fat cow would move, moo. And maybe like a poor little skinny cow would move, moo. Yeah. So here's another question. Was Joseph happy or was he sad at the end of the video? Do you remember? He looks sad. Um, thanks for your time and, and come back to see the next one. Maybe a different teacher, um, but it'll be great and miss you guys. Thank you.